And to that end, the past two years have been two of the most deadly and destructive in state history. And now, as fire victims start to rebuild, experts say what they really need to do is to rethink how they do it, including ways to build for future fires. And as NBC4's Randy Mack found out, it is possible. It's a beautiful place to spend time. Jeremy Wolf built a weekend home in Ojai Valley five years ago in a location like this. He knew he had to build wisely. We knew we were building in a wildfire zone. Uh, we wanted to build something that was as fire resistant as possible. Yep, fire resistant. He started with an architect. That's all I'm talking about all day long. Who promised she could do it. So how do you build a fire resistant home? Well, for Jeremy, he used concrete block for exterior walls. All the windows are double pane tempered glass, making it more challenging for heat to break through. The horizontal surfaces, like the balcony where embers could land, are made of fireproof material. The railings are metal. The roof is steel. He didn't use much wood, and where he did, it's a thick timber grain. Anything that can burn would be very difficult to ignite. Jeremy says it cost him 10 to 15 percent more to build this way, and it paid off. Thomas fire ripped through here just over a year ago. The phrase of it looked like Armageddon is, is a little overused, but it, it did feel that way. The scars are still visible, but Jeremy's home. So the fire actually came onto the property. Was untouched. We were very relieved and, and very relieved at the fact that we had chosen to build this way. I think they're doing an excellent job. Fire Chief Sam D. Giovanna says Jeremy and his architect did everything right. He encourages other homeowners to rethink how they rebuild. What we do is we build homes just the same way that we've done in the past. We repeat it and history repeats itself. If I was to build another home in this area, I would build the exact same way. Jeremy says his home insurance company first refused to cover the property because it was in a wildfire zone. But he showed them the blueprints and described how it was going to be constructed. And then they decided to cover it and they did so at no extra cost. Chuck.